the motherfucking deal YouTube. This your boy Lazan. <coughs> Y'all please comment, like, and subscribe on this video. Thank you guys for always supporting the channel. I thank you guys so much. Um, Y'all follow me on Twitch. Uh, I'm sorry I ain't been in live stream on Twitch because I'm having some father son time with my father. Uh, but so sorry about that. We will get strong on probably Monday. Uh, but I say appreciate my boy Young Snagger uh, from all the subs he sent to me. Uh, appreciate all the love and the support. Let's get right into the video. The Boston Celtics defeat the um, Indiana Pacers. Um, 84 to 74. <clears throat> the game first started off. Uh, Indiana started off the game strong. They started off the game real strong. Um, it started off a defensive ball game, 20 to 20. Uh, both both teams was taking it slow. They were missing open shots and stuff like that. Then the, the second quarter, the Pacers caught on fire. In the second quarter, you start seeing threes dropping. You started seeing great defense. Uh, the Boston Celtics had five turnovers in the first quarter. That's unacceptable <clears throat> for to being in the first quarter. And like I say, the first half, the first half, uh, the Pacers was up by eight, I believe, in the first half. In the end of the, end of the first half. So the Boston Celtics were turning the ball over <clears throat> in the first in the first half. The whole first half, they were missing open shots. And then, like I said, man, I still thought Boston was going to be a great team once they hit in the playoffs. They had some difficulties during the season, regular season, uh, coexisting. You know, you start seeing Kyrie Irving and, um, you know, Marcus Morris start calling out the team a little bit for the poor season they had. You know, they underachieved this year. But like I say, they still a dangerous team in the playoffs when it comes to the playoffs. They still a far dangerous team. I still think they're a better team. I still think they will go to the NBA Finals. Uh, like I said, I, I picked Boston to win this series in six. <clears throat> but it looked like to me, Indiana don't have nobody to go to. When the game is on the line, when I looked at today, Indiana don't have nobody to go to. They don't have nobody, like I say, when you get a ball to, when you need a bucket. They don't have nobody to score. When you need, Victor Oladipo was that guy you can get a ball to when the game was on the line. They don't have that. They can't shoot. Worth down. That ain't the only time, I mean, they got shut down in the first half. I looked at that Philadelphia game during the season where they couldn't shoot a wet paper bag. Everything Boston was doing in the first half, missing shots, turning the ball over. All of a sudden, paces up eight in the first half. Second half, you, you score eight points. Third quarter, you score eight points. That's unacceptable. First seven shots you missed before Amber Turner hit a free throw. But you went 0 for 7, your first seven shots coming out of the halftime break. <clears throat> That's unacceptable. Uh, this this see this series look like it is not gonna go pretty far, cause Indiana inability to score the basketball, shoot the basketball, with consistency, don't have nobody to go to when the game is on the line. When the game get close, they don't have anybody to go to. They don't have a go to score. Boston have that. Boston have that in Kyrie Irving, who is making coming off some tough screens. Making some shot creator jump shots. Very tough shots. Jason Tatum, fast break, pulls up in Corey Joseph's face like it ain't nothing. Marcus Morris with that energy, diving on the floor. Stuff like that. Great energy from the Boston crowd. Uh, Aaron Baines, Gordon Miles turning real good. I mean, when I saw the second half was a total assault, but that was due to the Indiana Pacers, poor shooting, then turn the ball over. <clears throat> turn the ball over. Everything Boston was doing in the first half, Indiana did it the second half. Th that, that same thing, turn the goddamn ball over. Missing shots. They first seven shots, they missed. First seven shots, they missed. Where is, where, where is Darren Collison? Where was he at? Where was Bo Bogey, Bonyanovich? Where was he at? I mean, Indiana, I know I picked it to go six, but it looked like it's going to be a short series. But what I seen in that second half, how fast they cooled off, how fast that was, that was a, a total unacceptable performance, the way they were shooting the basketball in that damn second half. I mean, that's how it was. Second half, they couldn't, sh they couldn't shoot a wet paper bag in the second half. They were, most of the shots were open. They shot. Mid -range, even mid-range shots. Wasn't even close to going in. 
Mid-range shots wasn't even close to going in. But like I say, they don't have that go-to guy that you can put the ball in, in their hand and say, go get me a bucket. They don't have that. Boston took every advantage. Everything they did, they did uh, bad in the first half. They did way better in the second half. I saw guys high-fiving, picking each other up off the floor. I saw the crowd giving the team great energy. I saw Marcus Morris diving for the loose balls, 50-50 balls. Second half, it was a complete total shutdown by the Boston Celtics. They shut these guys down, left to right. But some of those shots was wide open that Indiana missed, uh, was wide open. Some of those shots that Indiana uh, was missing, they were wide open. That's no excuse to be even missing mid-range jump shots. When you're that wide ass open, that's no excuse for that. So, uh, like I say, I know I picked the series to go seven, but hey, uh, this series can uh, be a short series. The way, uh, like I say, Indiana played in the second half, this tell me this might be a short ass series. Because you literally got nobody, nobody that can put the ball in the basket consistently like that. So let's get right into the team stats, man. Like I say, great give credit to uh, the Boston Celtics. Uh, they started picking up the pace a little bit. They started making shots when they need to make shots. Uh, they started being a little more physical with the Indiana Pacers. Um, they were in their faces. They were um, making tough jump shots. They, they were making their open shots. And plus, they were rebounding the ball real good. Then Al Horford with a nasty little spin move on Thaddeus Young. Nasty little spin move in a dunk. The play before that, Jalen Brown goes right by his ass ain't not, like it wasn't nothing and goes to the basket and gets a, a free dunk. Let's get right into the team stats, man. Like I said, um, before I get back to the second half of, of the Rockets versus Utah, uh, let's hope my Rockets can pull this game off and finish this game up. I'm going to come check them. I'm going to come check them. I don't think they're ready yet. Uh, Thad Young, 26 minutes, 7 points, 6 assists. Uh, three for uh, eight from the field. Bo Bogey, twelve points. Uh, oh for three from three point line. Miles Turner, you got all that money, but you you didn't show up in this game. Darren Collison, where the hell you was? West Matthews, you didn't show up. Uh, Sabonis, no show. Uh, Leaf, no shows. McDermott, no show. That's how it was. Evans, eight points. Corey Joseph, it's okay. Nobody showed up. Seventy four points in this in the game. Finish the game. That's not going to get it done. You're not, you're not beating Boston like that. That's not going to get it done. That's not getting it done at all. I want me. Uh, Jason Tatum, 34 minutes, 15 points. Uh, Al Horford, 10 points, 11 rebounds. Aaron Baines, 2 points. Kyrie Irving, 20 points, uh, 7 assists. Jalen Brown, just 2 points. That was the dunk that he had. Uh, 20 points for Marcus Morris. Uh, 10 points for Gordon Haywood. Twenty-eight points. Uh, I mean, not twenty-eight for uh, forty. Uh, twenty-eight for eighty-four. Uh, thirty-three percent. Uh, six of twenty-seven. Twenty-two percent from three-point line wasn't very good for Indiana. Was just embarrassing from the free three-point line. Uh, free throw line. Twelve out of twenty-one. They can make free throws. Um, forty-two rebounds. Offensive rebounds nine. Defensive rebounds thirty-three. Twenty-two assists. Uh, eight steals. Five blocks, 13 turnovers, points off turnovers, nine fast break points, 14, 36 points in the paint. Everything was in the paint pretty much after that first half. Uh, Boston didn't shoot too much better. They only shot 3% better. Uh, 28 out of 77, uh, 36%, 10 out of uh, 28, 35%. They shot way, they shot way better than uh, Indiana. 18 out of 22 free throws, 81%, 55 rebounds. They out rebounded their asses by 13. Um, seven uh, offensive rebounds, defensive rebounds, 48, 18 assists, no ball movement, 12, eight, I mean, eight steals, two blocks, uh, 20 turnovers. That was a lot of goddamn turnovers. Boy, that's a lot of turnovers. You still end up winning the game because of Indiana basically can't shoot the basketball. Uh, points off turnovers, 13. Fast break points, 24. They were getting a lot of them points in the past, fast break after those turnovers in the first, in the second half by Indiana. Uh, points in the paint, 24. Uh, so, like I say, Boston ended up getting the game one win, uh, one, 84 to uh, 74. We'll see what happened in game two. Uh, like I say, it was an atrocious performance by the Indiana Pacers in the second half. That's where the game was lost when, when they were missing the open shots. Everything Boston was doing in the first half, Indiana basically reflected it in the 
second half, repeated it in the second half. So that's the end of the video, guys. Give me a comment, like, and subscribe on this video. What you guys think about this game one victory about the Boston Celtics uh, defeating the Indiana Pacers 84-74. to 74. Thank you, guys. Back to the Rockets game. I'm out. Peace.